Like, basic makeup, that's my brand. Come on. Look at it. <laughs> hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, my name is Alyssa Ashley. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, I was about to start filming another video because a lot of people want to know about my hair. So, I'm doing a video all on that. But I was going to get glam before then. For the nine months that I was away from YouTube, I was not in the loop of what's going on on here with the makeup girls. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, what do people even like with their makeup anymore? I really don't know because I've, I see it on TikTok, but I wasn't on the YouTube scene. So as I was preparing for my nine month hiatus, I was just researching and I saw that a lot of people are into the clean girl makeup look. And I feel like I definitely can give you guys some tips on that because that's all I freaking do. I'm gonna do my clean girl makeup look and I wanna show you guys how I achieve it. So if you guys want to see that and tune into that, then just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, in my opinion, clean girl makeup starts with your skin prep. So I'm gonna take this Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder and I am going to just give my face a nice little a little exfoliation. I already recently did a uh, derma shave, or what's it called? Where you kind of shave off your peach fuzz. I did that maybe a few days ago, so it's not necessary for me to do it right now, but I do feel like my makeup goes on so much smoother if I do that first. So that's also a part of my skin prep. Is it, is it capturing that? I'm gonna go step away, cause I don't have my imaginary sink right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. <laughs> And then for moisturizer, I'm taking this one by Malay. I swear, this is one of my favorite moisturizers ever. This is Plump It Up. There is another one, it's Do The Most, and that one has SPF. So, depending on what time of day you're doing this, definitely do the SPF one as well. They're both amazing though. So now for our foundation. It's so tricky because you can go in so many different directions with this, but what I would recommend is getting a foundation or a concealer that is the most accurate to your actual skin tone. Like for me, sometimes I'll wear something that may be a little more warm, which it still looks fine once I set it with powder, but because I'm not gonna do too much powder, you wanna make sure that it is as spot on as possible, as close to your match as you possibly can get it. I like to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is Deep Caramel. Another good product is Oh crap, someone told me how to pronounce it properly in my last video. And this is more so considered a skin tint, but it looks gorgeous. Again, check out my last video if you wanna see how it applies. And then this one from the brand Chantical, and this is the shade Banana, and it's the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. This one is incredible as well. Apparently they use this on the set of Euphoria, and that's why I bought it. And this one, it, it just, it looks like second skin, and it is gorgeous. So you wanna use something that is very, along those lines, like a tint or even a light concealer or something of this nature because it's gonna look the most natural. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the shade Deep Caramel. I finally restocked because my last one was running low. And I'm gonna take the Sephora Pro Foundation Brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the areas, ooh, I need to wipe this mirror. Oh my God. I'm gonna go into the areas that I feel need a little bit more of a coverage, which is around my mouth area because that area is a little bit darker around my nose, around my eyes, just to get rid of the kind of darkness in that area as well. And I'm gonna get to blending. Honestly, this can cover my entire face, but I'm gonna go in with another product. This product is from Westman Atelier, and this is their Complexion Drops. I'm in the shade X.5, and you gotta shake it up first. Does as much as possible. So I'm gonna take this and just put some on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna switch over to this Kabuki brush and dip into it and stipple it across the rest of my face. See how it's just blending in? You can't even tell. That's the goal. Perfect. Up next, I'm gonna contour, and this is the Cream Bronzer from Rose Ink. And I'm gonna take my little e.l.f. brush to do that. And then for blush, I'm mixing two blushes. This is one of my favorite combinations. And this one is, I don't know how to pronounce this brand's name, but it's in the shade Spicy. It's a dewy blush. We're gonna pop that on our cheeks. And then the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Love. 
Okay, so I brought myself a bit closer and I'm gonna take the Sephora 93 brush, which is their blush brush, to blend it out. And then taking the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and this is the shade Medium, I'm gonna take my Sephora number 99 brush and just start to set everything. For the brows, instead of using pencil to kind of keep a more soft look, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Powder, and this is in the shade Dark Brown, but I'm more so using this side, not so much the other darker color, to fill in the brows, and this is a Morphe M158 brush. Then I'm gonna go in with the Refi Brow Pomade and just set them. This part is optional, but you can add a little bit of color to your lids with some bronzer. I've been doing this for ages now. Just take a fluffy brush, literally just go in and just add a little bit of color. Does not have to be uniform, just something to just kind of add something to your eyes. Now, I did not set my nose with a lot of powder, so I do have to be gentle with this, but I am gonna take that fluffy brush and just add a little bit of dimension to the nose, like just a little bit. It's gonna blend in quite well because my nose isn't already set with powder. So it's gonna look very, very subtle. And I'm gonna switch over to a 99 brush from Sephora Collection and the new Laura Mercier Translucent Ultra Blur Powder just to kind of do some fine setting because I do get a little bit oily. So I'm only gonna take this in these areas where I need it, where it's absolutely necessary. And then to add a little bit of something to my eye, I am gonna do a little bit of a liner, but I'm using this brow pen in the shade, what is this, caramel? And it works really well as a nice brown liner that's pretty subtle, so I'm gonna go in with this instead of a dark black liner, just to enhance my eye shade. Gonna curl my lashes with this e.l.f. eyelash curler. and then taking this mascara from Merit. I like it because it doesn't leave my lashes clumpy, but it enhances them. And then for lips, I'm taking Plum Glow by Makeup by Mario. A little goes a long way. And this is totally optional because you're already gonna be so glowing as it is, but this product from Chantecal, this is the Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade in the shade Ray. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just add a little bit of boop to my nose. I like to enhance my nose. And you kinda just like flush it over areas where you just want a little bit of, you know? And then lastly, I'm gonna give my face a little spritz with the Dewy Mist. I know I said lastly, but, but, if you wanna add a little bit of pop to your eyes, just put a little bit of a pinky or creamy colored liner right here just to make them more bright. This liner, I'm pretty sure is discontinued, but any liner that's a cream color or a pinky color will suffice. The reason I said cream or pink is because white will be too starky. So, a champagne-y color or a pinky color, cream, one of those colors. I really am the goat at this. <laughs> also, just for the record, standing while doing my makeup, not a fun time. Probably would not do this again. I'll probably get my chair, but let's go ahead and get the final shots. Let me step back so I'm not on your face, but honestly, that's it. That is my version of the clean girl makeup look. Let me know if it looks great, even though I already know it does, because I feel like I'm a master at this look. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna stop saying it. This, this is me, this is my branding. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys liked this simple and sweet and straight to the point makeup video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.